Headed out to Baton Rouge, Louisiana to wrestle gators and eat gumbo. And also today's scouting report. All right, we got this uh, today's scouting report of LSU. I've been thinking on this and trying to streamline it. That's why everything is already written out. We're going to talk about it a little bit more. I'm trying to get these videos down. 20 minutes is a little bit long. But, hey, it's a work in progress. We're, we're, we're getting after it here. All right. He moved from Connecticut to LSU. He inherited a great team. Um, but he also inherited a conference with a lot of users and a harder schedule. So I'm not saying he can't handle it. It's just I'm saying it's – the SEC is better than the American League. <laughs> All right. 7,500 uh, total yards on the year. So this is over here. 4,500 4, of these are passing. He had 46 uh, throwing touchdowns. 5,100 rushing yards uh, and 30 touchdowns on the, on the season. Um, where it gets good is down here. He has 401 attempts, averaged almost 400 yards a game, and only being sacked 10 times. Okay, so that means about every 40 times he's dropping back, he's giving up one sack. Uh, if my math is right, it's not my strong point. Um, this is really good. And he inherited uh, a really great um, O-line. Um, he did rush the ball a little bit, but only about half of what he does for passing. He had about 200 yards, uh, 200 attempts in average, only about 100 yards a game. And this is a pretty nice stat right here. Um, he only had four rushes of plus 20 yards, of over 20 yards. Um, with his passing, though, he did throw, uh, he threw 20 picks. So he will do a little bit of turnovers. Um, we'll jump right into the turnovers. I think he was zero on the year. Um, he had 25 giveaways, 25 takeaways. So um, he's zero on the year for turnovers. He has a great, uh, inherited himself a great offensive line. Uh, there's not really any weaknesses that I've seen in it. Uh, the lowest guys are a center, that's an 81, and maybe a right guard, and uh, he's an 84. So, running backs. He's got two really great running backs. Uh, one of them's a 97 overall, the other one's an 87. Uh, both these guys can run the ball. So, but if he stays with what the stats show that he did while he played at Connecticut, he's going to throw the ball uh, more than he's going to rush it. All right, his quarterback. His quarter. Yeah, his quarterback is. His quarterback's still a good, but he's. Uh, yeah, he's 94 overall. Sorry, I'm trying to look through. Uh, I got a typed out deal on a notepad full of like stats and stuff. I'm trying to look through everything. Um, 94 overall. He's a great quarterback, but the thing about him is his speed. His speed is only a. I lost it again. 71. <laughs> He's only got 71 for speed. Um, when he was at Connecticut, he didn't. He didn't have very many attempts um, as a rusher. 41 attempts. And four touchdowns. So, you know, maybe he sneaks in a read option or something at the goal line. I do know – I don't know if he has a custom playbook, but if he uses LSU, I know LSU runs a multiple. They'll have some eye formation. They'll have some spread. They'll have some other stuff. The offset eye, strong eye, that sort of thing. So, I am going to take notes. Every time Chef plays somebody, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to take notes. So, the midseason scouting report, we're going to have a pretty good idea of what kind of offense they're running – um, for everybody like that, and I'm gonna do it for the guys that I play too, so that way nobody gets any nobody gets any freebies. Now that we're playing a bunch of users, um, let's see, am I missing anything? His, I didn't put his wide receivers down right here. We'll sneak it in. Wide receivers, uh, he's got great wide receivers overall. Um, 87 overall for one, 83, 81. And a freshman, that's an 80. Um, he did spread the ball around a bunch. So look for him for whatever receiver's open. He ain't pinpointing any receivers. Um, and he did throw to his tight end pretty good. Uh, the tight end is an 89 for a tight end. Whoops, what is that? 89. There we go. All right, defense. I have this kind of drawn out. 
Um, you guys let me know what you like. There's about, what, five people that watch this thing? So you five people. <laughs> you want you want me to write out this visual thing so you can see, or you want the numbers kind of like we did uh, with the offensive deal? Um, so let me know on that. Now know that some of these season totals over here that we're going to talk about, this is from when he was at Connecticut. I don't think he played any users last year, so these – I would assume we're going to be a little bit different. I think he was number one in the nation for, uh, I know it was for rushing yards. He only gave up 562 rushing yards and almost 3,000 through the air. So this could be a suggestion on how to beat him uh, through the air. But if you look down here, his corners, man, he's got a great secondary, if good as, if not, probably one of the best in the SEC right up there with uh, Arkansas. Um, he did give up about 3,500 yards total, but more through the air. Um, he did have sacks, 20, let me see, where's this at? 51 sacks on the year. I think that led the nation. So 51 sacks total. A lot of it came from the, the his defensive line from Connecticut, but 10 came from this right outside linebacker. Now, there's no way to tell like what he's doing with this because I don't know what defense he runs. It could suggest that he runs a three-three-five, but don't I wouldn't you know don't don't take that to the bank on me because I don't know because I know in the man coverage uh, in your three-three-five you have one less um, one less defensive defensive player that I'm covering up here, one less defensive line, and you're bringing pressure with this guy here. That's kind of standard uh, dealing a three-three-five, but still have five guys in coverage. Um, you see, through we'll go back to interceptions right here. He had 20, 20 picks. Um, I would expect this number uh, to go up, probably. With this set of corners playing more users, more users are likely to force passes in. So I, I would actually expect this number to go up. So you guys be careful when you're passing the ball in this defense. Uh, there's not really a weakness that I see anywhere. He's got a great. I would say get these guys tired, um, but you know their their stamina is right along with um, right right there middle of the road on um, as far as defensive tackles go. So that could be a deal um, if you wanted to go that route. A where else are we at here? He's got a great set of middle linebackers. Most of all his defense is juniors and seniors, so it's going to be an experienced defense. Um, so the good thing with that is um, most of these guys will be gone next year, <laughs> and he's going to have to do some recruiting, which is going to be tough because so is everybody else that's in the SEC, all recruiting out of the same uh, the same area. Um, let me look over these stats real quick here, see if I'm missing anything. Um, these guys, as far as their zone coverage, um, they got great zone coverage. They got great man coverage. These are kind of almost hybrid type um, safeties. So they're great at man coverage and great great at zone. Um, so I would say, like always, this probably goes for everybody, look to throw to tight ends, look to throw to re running backs out of the backfield because these guys here, your middle linebackers can't cover like a corner. So you've had, if you have an elite tight end, um, there's a lot of good tight ends. Uh, look to throw it to them. Uh, that can probably go for uh, all teams. Um, and they have, I mean, they're great at press. I don't see really a weakness. I mean, these guys have man coverage. I mean, this number one cornerback over here, his man coverage is 99. So um, look to move around. Look to move around your number one your number one receiver. You can move him around in the depth chart and depend on who's lined up on him, um, because the game doesn't have a thing to say. I want my best corner to guard their best receiver. You have to do that manually. So I would look to I would look to move him around on this guy here. He's a freshman. This is number eighty four. All right, to sum it up, guys. On offense, this is when you're on offense. On. On offense, use a balanced attack. Uh, I would advise running a balanced attack. Don't be run heavy. Don't be throw heavy. 
He may struggle against the user um, because he hasn't played any. As far as we know in the dynasty, this could be a total, you're an idiot. Um, but we don't know that for sure. So I would move your move your number one receiver around in the formation. Move him around the left side, right side, put him in the slot. You can do that when you're play calling if you move the right stick, I believe it is, left and right. They have different packages within the formations. If you didn't know that, use it. Um, and like always, don't force your throws. Number one thing, win the turnover battle. That'll help you tremendously playing users and the computer. Um, you can't score if you ain't got the ball, so don't throw it to them. When you're on offense, on defense, look for LSU to be a pass first team. That's what he. That's what the stats when he was from uh, um, Connecticut. That's what he did. He likes to throw the ball. Okay, disguise your coverages. Don't run. Don't run the same thing over and over again. Don't give him the same look. Mix your stuff around a little bit. Uh, mix in some zone. Mix in some man. And two, if you have elite corners that have great press, you may be able to jam up his receivers at the line to give your to give your four man rush or your blitzing you may give them time to get there because um, they are pretty weak um, in their in their release. Um, one guy, Jackson. One guy's got a release of 80. Everybody else is mid-70s and lower. Okay? So, like I said, if you don't have elite corners, don't do this because they're going to burn you. Make sure your guy has elite pressing on there. That's what that is. Um, so, don't do that. Unless you have elite corners. Um, hope this helps. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good luck playing LSU. He's got a hell of a team.